Hello there everybody, Oimon here, and welcome to Chasing Static, which I, I do love the way it represents at the top of the screen there. Like, you know, because you have the 4 being the A, so it's like cha So it's Channel 4, Sing, Stat 1, C, but no, it's Chasing Static. I do like that, that's, that's nice, that's nice and immersive. So, obviously we're in the last, like, three days of streaming for this year because you know take the last few uh last week or so of the year off because i always do that because i just i just need the time over christmas and new year to be able to just deal with family related stuff not to mention the fact it gives me a chance to relax and like recharge my batteries and go into the new year afresh uh which we will be actually this year there won't actually be any games i'm carrying across because like obviously with Finishing up Resident Evil 2, I'm just doing this as a one-off. Castlevania Sympathy Night, I'm definitely going to have finished. And the, the only maybe lingering thread is Paper Dolls 2, but... Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm unsure about that. Because the first game was fine, and because it kept its scope small, it worked out okay. But I, I don't know, I'll, I'll be playing it tomorrow, so I guess we'll see. <coughs> right. So, Chasing Static. This is a game I don't really know much about. I, I Here's the thing. I was trying to remember, and I think I saw this... Maybe not the full game. I think it was like the demo or something. As part of like a three scary games. I can't remember if it was Mark or if it was Sean that did it. Uh, Markiplier or Jacksepticeye. Um, I can't remember which of the two it was. Uh, it was one of them. I'm pretty sure. I think it was Sean. Like, off the top of my head, I think it was Sean, but I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. I guess we'll sort of see what happens on that front. But yeah, I, I, I think I vaguely heard about it there. So, like, I wishlisted it, and then it came out, and now I'm playing it. So, uh, yeah, I beyond the specifics of it being a horror game, don't really know much about it. Heard it's pretty short. Should be able to finish it off in a single session. So, fingers crossed. I already pressed E. There we go. Ooh. Oh, it's low red textures and polys and stuff. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, actually, that does look quite nice. Lovely weather. Excuse me. Chris, I presume. Uh, yeah. Sure. It's Evelyn. We spoke on the phone. Oh, right, sorry. I didn't recognize your voice. Oh, that's fine. I'm happy you could make it. Your father. It seems he... Well, he didn't have a lot of friends. In the end. He never did. Right. Anyway, the whore asked me to give you this. It was all they had in regards to his personal effects. A book? Huh. I'm sure there's a lot you have to process today. I apologize for being so forward. No, it, it's fine. Honestly, um, we really weren't that close. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. Chris, I hope you have a safe journey home. Right, so character's dad died. Oh, are we in? And, oh, oh, that is very slow. Can I hold up? <coughs> Look, sensitivity, I think, needs to be a tiny little bit up. There we go. Uh, so don't forget navigation movement. You to interact, return, cancel. I'm sure I'll work it out as we go. Uh, let's try that and see how we get on. Is that bit? Oh, yes, that's that's much snappier. All right, so apparently my character's dad died, by the sounds of it. And um, if you couldn't tell by the woman's accent, uh, this is apparently set in North Wales. That is really cool. I love the way they're doing that. That's like, that, that, I mean, it's not desperately realistic, but like, for low poly game, that's actually a really cool effect. Right, notebook. 
To whom it may concern. Packed into the pages of this book, you will find my life's work. A means with no end. A fruitless garden. Thirty years of questions with no answers. Much like my own hollow ambitions, some things never come to fruition. I only hope that these tattered pages may serve to prove that we are more than ourselves, and that our perception of reality is merely a veil over our own ideals and hunger to understand this world. I have many regrets. The Institute is not one of them. Hmm. So the father was part of some sort of institute. Presumably paranormal, based on the fact that this game's, I think, about ghosts and stuff. Ooh, headlight. Really? I can turn the headlight. Why would I want to turn the headlights off? Apparently I can use it, but I don't know if I'm supposed to. I can't actually, like, control the car. I can only look around. Don't know if I'm supposed to do something or if I'm just waiting for something to trigger. It's very nice, though. Wow, this this game is really good. Like, I'm into this. All right, you certainly got my attention. Key stick. Oh, you go faster. Go even faster, faster. Ooh, really fast. Okay, so we've got different speeds. Am I going somewhere? Am I doing something? Or is this all ambient setting? Well, we can go at least a little bit faster, I guess. Well, I don't have a body, but then that's pretty normal. A bit worried if I go like super speed, I'm going to crash or something. And then back to slow speed. Okay, well, don't know what else to do. Super speed with the headlights off? This seems really bad. The fact... The fact that we can do this... Also, I don't have a rear mirror, which is somewhat worrying. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something. Oh, coffee. That might help. <clears throat> okay, so we have coffee. Can't wind down the window. Headlights. Oh, glove box. Ah, the road map. That might help. Or not. Oh no, I think I've actually... Oh, no, that, that's what I was looking for. Okay, everything else was just set dressing. Hearth. Okay. I've just driven into the English equivalent of Silent Hill. Last stop. <coughs> 2146. That's 946 if you used it 12 hours. Mobile. The battery's dead. Oh. Well, guess we're off. Make it nice and quick. Ooh, okay. Small little roadside place. 
I don't know if this is common in Wales. You don't really get places like this very much. Not in the UK. Ooh, all day breakfast, two ninety nine. That's actually yeah. He's right. Two ninety nine is cheap for a fry up. If it's an all day breakfast, then presumably you get like eggs, sausages, bacon, beans, maybe some hash browns if you're lucky. But typically, it's just chips. Got the door menu with illegible writing. All right, I'm in. I'm into it. All right, I like this. Ooh. Christ alive! You almost gave me a heart attack. Let me guess. Got lost in the storm. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Honestly, I thought that road would never end. Ten miles of trees, and, well, more trees. Yeah, it's a killer. We have coffee, though. Still open, then. Sorry to barge in. Uh, you're still open, right? Uh, kitchen's closed, but we have all the coffee you could want. You don't sound like you're from around here. Yeah, no. that's obvious. I mean, I used to be long time ago. Where are you headed, anyway? East. I'm, uh, headed east. Oswestry. Oh, so do you want the good news or the bad news first? Good news? Uh, well, obviously I'm going to take the good news first. <laughs> well, you're on the right road. We'll be headed that way myself soon. Bad news is it's about half an hour back that way. Hang about and I'll show you the way, if I can bum a lift. Sure. Uh, to be honest, I could do with the company. Wasn't looking forward to cycling in this rain anyway. Nothing creepy though. I'll kick your ass if you try anything. <laughs> hey, I'm just relieved to be off that road. Where are we, anyway? Welcome to the Last Stop Cafe. Best coffee this side of the A5. Don't get a lot of customers these days, though. I'm not surprised. You're kind of in the middle yeah, of bump fuck nowhere. Yeah, after coffee. I'll be done in five. Ooh, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. So I never caught your name. Oh, it's Chris. Chris. Right. Nice and simple. Yeah. It was my dad's name. My grandfather too. My parents weren't exactly ones to break tradition. Well, it's nice to meet you, Chris. I'm a neighbor. I used to know someone called a neighbor. It means winter, right? Close. Winter is gear. A neighbor translates to snow. Oh, my Welsh is a little rusty. Hey, I'm impressed. Most English folk can't even read the road signs. Well, neither can I, apparently. So what brings you to this neck of the woods? I... Um, well, I buried my dad today. Oh, shit. Yes, yes it I'm is. sorry. Oh, could you deal with that? Oh. <laughs> Just mess with the dial until it finds a signal again. That's fine. We didn't uh, exactly see eye to eye. Yeah, my dad left when I was six. Turned up ten years later wanting to play happy family. I still get calls from him. Not that I ever answer. Family, eh? I'll be finished up soon. Then we can hit the road. There we are. Ooh. Happy jaunty go lucky music. Specials. Listen to today's specials. Yeah. Walking out here in the middle of nowhere. Great selection of fizzy drinks. Mm, pop. I shouldn't examine that. Alright, well. But, um, Again, that's the second time this week. Is this normal? Hold on, I've got a lighter here somewhere. 
Press tab to remove your nudity, select the lighter. See, this is why I love smokers. You wouldn't mind taking a look, would you? Fuse boxes in the back. Joy. Suddenly. Uh, okay, I guess. Last time I was waiting four hours for an electrician. Fun. So, what am I looking for here? There's a fuse box in the kitchen. Kitchen? Right. <gasps> Toilet rolls. Good to see they're well stocked. Agreed. <laughs> Sink. Okay. Sink. There's a hand dryer, a toilet. Fuse box in the. Ah! Hey, Neira, a bunch of these fuses are fried. Should be some spares in there somewhere. Spare sink. Over you, dishwashing, cutlery, and plates. Oh, draw. Jammed. Ooh. Is there a. Uh, nope, there isn't. Ah, screwdriver. Excellent. That. Yes. Nice. Good, 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 good. Alright, so hang on a bit. Can I read this? No, it's just a book. Alright, never mind. Um, wait, what does that say? Lights only. And the fuse is dead. Dead. Oh, we only got the... Ah, do I need to find another one? Okay, looks like I need to find another fuse somewhere. Let's get the lighter back out. Oh. Cupboards? Cupboards? Hmm. Not a lot there. Okay. Ah. That makes sense. That's nah, dead. Right, okay, so there's only two that still work. Hey! Hey, uh, no need to thank me or anything. Anaira? Uh oh. I'm gonna let's go to the toilet rip first, real quick. <laughs> just in case. You know what? I, I think we can just live here now. I think it's fine. God. What the? Alright, that's not what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting her to do a exorcist impression. Oh, apparently I did not pass out unconscious. Where's, where's that phone coming from? Oh! Right. Well, that's that's pretty ambiguous, unambiguous even. Don't go into the woods. Okay, I um I won't. What the heck is all this? Pick a wire to play the tape. Strange device with two antenna. Some sort of tape player. What's it doing here? No power. Looks like the battery's depleted. Okay. So, what the fuck just happened? I walked out, and she was like up on the ceiling, exorcist style, and... <gasps> the 
They spilled my coffee, those bastards. It was free coffee. Moldy, thankfully I'm not hungry. This place looks like it... Am I dead? Am I, am I, am I dead? Am I like a ghost? And this is what's happened over the years since the incident? Because this place looks... Yeah, okay. Is that a camera? That wasn't there before, was it? A camera? Ooh. Okay. Cool. Alright. Well, we've got that, I guess, if we need it. Don't go into the woods, the voice said. So let's... Let's not. Oh, my car is still here. Rust bucket. Hey, it worked. I was genuinely not expecting that to actually work. I probably should have explored the area a bit more. Never mind. The map is back, but I can't seem to interact with it. Okay, that happened. Oh, I should have explored the area a bit more. I wasn't actually expecting to be able to get into the car. Oh well. I did wonder if, like, time had passed or something and, like, I was dead. Oh, no, I'm in. Yeah, I, I can't just climb out because of course I can't. Methinks I've got to follow the road. Lucky to be alive. I, I wasn't expecting that. That did genuinely come out of nowhere. Okay. A couple of routes to go by the look. What's that say? It's not a sign, it's just a board tied to a tree. We got a lake. All right. I kind of wish I'd taken a bit more time to explore that area. Now I wasn't. I genuinely wasn't expecting to just get in the car. <laughs> wasn't expecting that to work, but it did. So it is what it is, I guess. What's this? I don't know. We got glowing mushrooms. Hum is emanating from the device. Okay. I have no idea what's going on right now. An old radio tower? Can I even go over there? Doesn't look like it. Maybe we gotta go around. Okay. More weird glowing mushrooms. Can't be a good sign. Ha ha ha. Well, okay. 
interesting to note. Well, we found our way back, so that's something at least. Yeah, because the thing I was thinking is like, did I die there and like now my spirit has like woken up and like, you know, the, the place is all like old and decrepit and abandoned now. Because like, it feels like time has passed, doesn't it? Either that or maybe I did literally just get teleported through time, which is possible. What are these glowing mushrooms? I'm assuming it's glowing mushrooms. It looks like glowing mushrooms. Oh, hello. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh no. Biological containment has been breached. Ooh. Cassette tape. A very bloody looking cassette tape, but still. Alright. Can we go anywhere else? Ah. Right. I think I see the way this is going to go. Okay, so... I'm guessing the whole car crash thing is like if you try to get go away in the car, that happens. Undiscovered key item remains in this area. Oh, well that's nice. Does that even work in this? That's barely working at all. <laughs> It'd be useful in dark environments. It's not that dark at the moment. Although I'm wishing I had an umbrella. No, I can't climb that. Okay, so somewhere there's a battery that we need for that tape player. That would be my guess. Which could be in that strange device, potentially. Or it could be down one of the paths I haven't gone down yet. no crouch button. No, okay. So that being the case, I need one other route to check. I've got the tape. We just need a battery. Right. Yeah, because that's not ominous. Fucking barrels. Who, who the hell has been, like, dumping toxic waste around here? Right. I appear to be getting flashes of another time. That one picture in the center of the door mechanism. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm dead. I'm dead and, like, I'm a ghost and time is being funny and wiggly. And, yes, absolutely. Like, it can't be anything else. The ores are missing. I mean, it's either or, but... Oh, yeah, because that's even less ominous. Oh, Lord. Oh, that smell. Mm -hmm. What happened to me? Good question. Okay, date 12th of the 10th, 98. Time 237. Reach to Dr. Nisher Baines. Roadside Cafe, Woodland Quarantine Zone. <coughs> Let's 
strong displacement, singular source, clear audible chatter, further study advised. Clear, clear, moderate displacement, two sources, indistinct audible chatter, multiple entities. We displacement, two sources, indistinct audible chatter. So between 90 and 90.9 and 97 and 97.9 so basically the the 90s and the 97s at the bar two distinct sources me and the woman I was talking to okay Make you wonder, like, when did we die? Because, like, you know, I was driving down the road, and all well, my character was, and I. Can I? No, okay, apparently not. And like, I didn't seem to have an accident as such. I just sort of arrived at the diner. Like the ghost attack of a woman. And could be a loading screen? Yeah, loading screen. So the ghost attacked the woman and then presumably it attacked me right afterwards? Question mark? I don't know. Yeah, that's really not helping. Okay. Alpha Charlie. Bravo. Let's stick on this floor for now and then we'll see if we can. It doesn't seem like I've got any limit to my running. Oh. Hi. Wait. Is that the woman? Echo. I think it was. Comes. Site C, warning, status compromise. Simu class link absent resolution established containment procedure. Some old radio tech. Various notes and scientific diagrams. Your generator looks busted. Hey, it's another one of these things. There's Rex audio devices. Oh, hey, that's a map of the area. Echo Garden. So hang on. Where the hell are we compared to? Don't know, can't quite work that out. Won't stay still long enough for me to check. Multiple sites compromised, lockdown procedure initiated. Okay, well, whatever. That's compromised, yeah, okay. Hmm. Looks like they were tracking something. Site B. Alright, so we've got sites A, B, and C. Uh, hello? Oh, God, am I happy to hear your voice? 
I thought you guys had left me here for dead. Does this mean we got you all clear? I can leave. Who is this? Who is this? I, I'm lost. I really need help. I, I... Wait. You're not from the cleanup team. Fuck. Look, I just... I was in the cafe and there was this thing. It attacked us. I just, I just want to get out of here, please. Send help. Okay, take a minute. Tell me exactly what you saw. I, I don't know. It was dark, like, like some kind of nightmare. Oh, feels like I'm dreaming. Hey, hey, it, it's going to be all right. What's your name? Chris. It's Chris, but... Okay, Chris. I'm Helen. You need to listen to me. We're in a bit of trouble here. Something... bad has happened. You're going to have to trust me. I need you to do something for me. I'm from a team of researchers. Whatever you saw in the cafe, it's not real, okay? But for us to leave this place, we're going to have to work together. Have you ever experienced sleep paralysis? Uh, sure. When I was a kid, it would scare the shit out of me. Think of it like that. Only your bed spans several miles. The things you see here, no matter how real they may seem, they're just broken memories. Figments of your imagination latched onto something real. Look, I'm just trying to find my way home. The only way you or I are getting out of here is if you do exactly as I say. I'm sorry, Chris, but we're in this together, whether you like it or not. <sighs> okay, fine. So what do I do? There are three sites, each with a device engineered to secure and contain the surrounding area. Several days ago, these devices failed. Simultaneously, each site was disconnected from the array. You're going to have to manually reboot the simulcast devices to relink the array. Uh, honestly, I struggle with the VCR. I I'm not exactly qualified to... <laughs> Think of this as more of a hi-fi. Just hit the power and press the big green button. It's that simple. Uh, okay, and how will I know where these things are? Each link has a failsafe signal for that exact reason. Easily tracked with the displacement device. But there should be one there in the orchard. <sighs> and there really is no other option. I wish there was. Okay. <coughs> okay. And uh, what's stopping me from walking right out of here? You're welcome to try, but I strongly suggest you reconsider that thought. Could be a fallen tree, a gas leak, exhaustion. It's going to be really hard to comprehend right now. But this place is different. It has an agenda. If you're here, you're here for a reason. And it's not going to let you leave until it's had its way. Uh, how the hell does a field in the middle of nowhere have an agenda? It's better if you don't think about it. Honestly. Just focus on getting those sites contained. Okay, so, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about the whole being dead thing. Maybe everything I'm seeing now is essentially kind of a hallucination, or maybe it's like a Silent Hill thing where I'm technically not in reality anymore. Don't know. You said something about a displacement device? Yeah, it's like a portable radio. Only one that can pick up signals beyond the typical bands. We use them to monitor the anomalies, to listen to them. Signals? The signals are a side effect, a trace left over from the afflicted entities. Once an item is afflicted, it gives off a specific wavelength that the frequency displacement monitor picks up. You can trace the origin with it. That'll lead you to the simulcast link. Uh, you have no idea how much this sounds like nonsense to me. 
It's the same shit my dad used to obsess over. Chris, I'm deadly serious. We need to get those sites contained. Okay. Tell me more about these sites. There are three sites. If the radio's working, that must mean the Zord should have power. Check the monitors there for an update on each site. One is just off the main road. There's an abandoned cafe that we've been monitoring for several months now. The second is in the village itself, situated in an old public house. And the third, Ground Zero, is beyond the lake. A stretch of farmland where the first anomaly was found. Cafe, village, farmland. Got it. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll be back later. I'm gonna go check out those sites. Go careful, Chris. All right. So yeah, look. Based on this map, I'm assuming top one is the farmland one, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. But yeah. Okay. So we've got these three sites, and we've got to activate them or something. This is crazy. Is this that device you mentioned? Huh. What's this? Operational guidelines. Do the following statement carefully before operating your equipment. Voice not disclosed. Blah, 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 blah. Um, frequency the FDMD is the property of Echo Garden Institute, utilizing the latest digital chip technology developed in house by our team of world class engineers. Similar to commercial FM radio, is capable of picking up frequencies between 88 and 108.1. Megahertz on a precise granular scale. After a compromised frequency has been established, the FDM's directional microphone can be used to right. Note he has been torn. Woo! How do I. How do I actually like tune it? Oh. Oh, hang on, that did something. No, no, it didn't. Ooh. Is this thing tuning itself? Might be tuning itself. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, anything? What? I didn't. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Controls. Uh, press left control to raise or lower the directional microphone. Um, press E to unequip the device. Press three to quick select the device. Uh, when raised, the directional microphone is able to pick up signals in the environment. When a signal is detected, the device will emit a blue light. Signal strength is represented by the LCD readout on the device, and higher number indicates a stronger signal. Device monitor device. I guess I thought I'd. Down here, and I swore. something up. Right. Still can't get past there. Right, so it does have some sort of signal of something, but... Let's see what we can find else throughout around here. Oh. It also acts as a very good light source. I mean, it's a bit blue, perhaps, but seems to work well enough. Storage. Oh, fuck tight. Okay. So the only place I haven't been is down here. 
which might have something, might not. I think there's two more in storage. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. These seats are so fucking hard. Alright, you stay here. Take a minute to catch your breath. I'll get the others. We'll take them across the lake in two. You want these? Oh, thanks. Isaac had the other set, right? Wherever the fuck he is, yeah. What's been with that guy lately, anyway? Uh, oh, no idea. Let's just focus on getting these moves. Yeah, whoo. Those weren't there before. Oars! Nice. I guess it was ore, not either. Hmm. Alright, what you got to say for yourself? What the hell was going on down here? Wait. Do we make concern? Our efforts to contain Site C, although extensive, have been grossly unsuccessful. I fear it's only a matter of time before the remaining sites are compromised. After what feels like months of research, we are no longer closer to understanding this place. Time is a concept I am no longer familiar with. I have yet to see the sun rise. It is my deepest regret that I must call an end to our research for I fear for my colleagues' well-being. To memorize the chance of, inf of the infection spreading, those who will not be returning with us have been laid to rest beyond the lake. Our thoughts are with their families and loved ones. Dr. Nicholas Strawbridge. So, was it an infection, or was it something else? Alright, so we got one at the cafe, one at the pub in town, and one in a farmer's field. Ah, yes, of course, loading. I was like, wait, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, loading screens. Right, but we we know we don't need to go in there yet, I'm assuming anyway. Okay, see, I'm pretty sure that weren't glowing red before. What the fuck? Ooh, torch. Cool. Hey, that's better. That's more like it. All right. So we know something, something near the diner. Every time I walk past there, I hear footsteps. There's not this. I'm gonna take take a guess and say it's that big device in the thing with the tape player, maybe. Where was the entrance to the diner? I've actually forgotten. Is it down here?
I think it was this way. There we go. Okay. Set it up, press the big green button. So it's like something happened here, something other, I guess. Some sort of tape player. What's it doing here? No power. Looks like the battery's depleted. Hmm. Right, so this is the sort of thing we're looking for. What, 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 what? What did it do? Wait, is this... Is this a fast travel system? No. It might be, maybe I'm... Hang on. That's the diner. That's... I think that's the underground lab. It is a fast travel system. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, I wish I'd known that before. Um, <clears throat> okay, the game has a small fast travel system. That is nice. Me likeies, me likeies a lot. So, did I actually get the... That's the wrong button. Because I was sort of in here and it picked up a signal and I was trying to follow it. And I think I did. I think it was that underground... Cape. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's assume for now that I've already got that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Okay, so based on the inventory items I've got, I need to use the ores, which I think I could use across this way. Seems to get further away. I don't know, it's weird. I'm not, I haven't quite worked out how this goes yet, but I'm sure I will in good time. Nice one. Hey, do you hear that? Just a guess from the boat. Let's go. It could be him. A wind to get him. It's 
got to go. All right. You first. Hold her steady. I'm surprised this thing's still afloat. Huh. Him. I wonder if that was the guy who died over in the shed. Oars. Get, no, I'm not controlling this. Aha! Okay. Oh goody. Shovel could come in handy. Sorry dude. Oh. Really? I'm assuming there's a reason I need to do this. That will probably become clear later. Oh yeah, what's his name at the keys? That's what that cutscene said. Okay. Well, we got the keys for the gate, so next time we go back to the bunker, we can have a moochers. Oh, loading. Zero, sight C. Right. A lot of dead trees in a place called Ground Zero. I'm telling you, someone's been messing with my stuff. It's probably just the badger's got in or... Whatever, it doesn't matter. We've got a job to do. Right. Isaac? How's it going? Isaac? You think he found something? I don't know. Stay here. I'm going to go get him. Sure, someone's got to clean up this mess. Huh. Right, so when it comes to these signals, we want the number to go up, not down. That's my mistake. I thought it was like distance to the target in that regard, not, you know, proximity. Doesn't appear to be working. Some sort of tape player. There's no power. Mm. 
Alright, so power seems to be the big sort of primary issue with a lot of these places. Okay, oh, note. I don't trust them, I don't trust any of them. It's hard to think straight. This place has gone to each and every one of us. I made a few fail-safe precautions, namely when it comes to the simulcast units. I've stashed a tape for Site C and a link just north of the research site. I've dialed in one of the faux emitters to give off a signal in the range of... Damn it. In the range of I don't know. Hey, a battery. Okay. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? That's that's a thing. That is definitely a thing. Okay, um, well, I don't know if that thing is going to stop chasing me. Don't even know if it can or if I just need to keep running away from it. Because that does not look like it's stopping. Oh, and there's also a person here apparently. And that thing is still coming. Don't like it, don't like it, okay. Um, how the hell do I get away from this thing? I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's chasing me. Can I shine a light on it? Will that make it bugger off? What about you? You pick up any signals from it? Nope. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, what happens if it's just... out? It was just a spook. Right. Okay, well, that kind of freaked me out for a bit. Sorry about that. I was literally, when it showed up, about to say, time for a break. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, guess we're just going to have to run around and see what the hell we can work out as we go. Looked like there was a person here. Uh, I'll have a word with him in a minute, I guess, once I get back. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo, back in a minute. See you in a sec, guys. And we're back. All right. Oh, do I need to make regular saves or is that... Oh, the camera makes saves. Ah, how about that? <laughs> I was like, I should probably save. I don't know if this game has an auto save feature. So yeah, that might actually be an idea. Okay, so we sort of ran over here without really trying. And because um, I was running away from something that looked like an enemy, but it was actually just a spook. So it is what it is. Hello. Hey, you're okay? Looks like a, a wound photograph. Uh, hello? Uh, four. Hey, it's it's gonna be all right. Okay, I'll come back for you. He's also missing an eye. I just got an achievement. I don't know if you popped up on your screen or not. It was called the Fourth Sight, and it had www in it. Is there like a website? I need a claw hammer. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Were they just dumping them in the river or lake? I 
I will say the audio design in this game is fan fucking tastic with the rain sound effects and everything. That's really good. Like, you know, when you're under the thing, you hear the sound of the rain hitting the plastic. And you can just hear it when you're outside. But then you move away, and the sound goes away too. Lovely. Really good. Right. I have no real idea what the bloody hell's going on right now. We've just got to get the three signal things up and going. But... Looks like someone buried a whole bunch of stuff here. Interesting. I'm assuming Mr. McCrazy over there. sure what we need to do. Hello. No fuel for the generator. No power. Okay, so we need fuel for the generator. And... We did pick up a bat. Oh, hello. <clears throat> uh, da 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 da. Moderate displacement, singular source, indiscriminate launch out of multiple entities. Singular source, clear audible chatter, further study advised. Hmm. What's all this? I'm not sure exactly, it's kind of weird. see anything else. Okay, so we picked up a battery, and we've also got the keys, uh, which we need to use to get around elsewhere. Actually, did I find a, um, is there a warp point here? Is there a phone I could use to teleport myself around rather than having to physically go back across the lake? Because that'd be useful really paying attention if there was a phone here or not. Well, I can't see one. It's weird. What what was that thing that, like, sh randomly decided to just show up? It was in here, and then the screen went weird, and it's like it just came out of nowhere, just... I guess just to spook me? The only other place I could think maybe the phone might be might be over here. I th again, I didn't see it. And you think there would be, but I I don't know. Maybe I missed it. I I genuinely have no idea what this is. Truth be told, like it's. Maybe they're like pieces of a puzzle that fit together or something. <clears throat> I don't know. If I need to, I can come back. Right, okay, so yeah, we got the battery, which I'm pretty sure we can use in the device in the diner. <clears throat> and we've got the keys, which I'm pretty sure we can use to access more of the bunker. So let's go back and deal with all that. I think we'll be closer to the bunker by the time we get back, so I guess we'll go in there. Although we might try to follow the 
signal. Maybe I'll get something out of that. <sighs> Time to row, row, row. <sighs> so there was. That's your eyes, Captain, firing up the rod, sir. <laughs> such a man. You know the constellation? Uh, there's the Big Dipper, um, and Orion's Belt. Well, the constellation is there's the major thing. But yes, the Big Dipper is in there. So you see that longer, that's the neck. Follow it down to the body, which leads off to the legs. It kind of looks like a bear. The great bear. I wonder who named it. You think it's always in the bear? Looks more like a giraffe to me. Most of the names come from Greece, named after its gods and goddesses. And bears? <laughs> yes, animals too. Ah, uh, it's nice here. Yeah. I'm really happy you came. Me too. Right. So yes, the trick with this bad boy is to follow to 100 or 1,000, not the other way around. Makes sense actually. Well, it does when you actually stop and think about it. Right. Well, we've got the keys. And we can use the fast travel system too. Okay. This is Echo, apparently. It might just be another exit, you know. Maybe it goes to the town or something. Oh, it is another exit. Okay. Well, I'm here. Let's explore. Ooh. Echo Garden facility. Ooh. I should be put. I could cut through this with the right tool. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna need something to cut through this fence. Okay. Any ghosts? Any memories? Any... Anything at all? A signal... A very old looking signal thing up there. Doesn't seem to be. Okay. So that's the echo facility, but we need like... I don't know, wire cutters or something. Oh, I wonder if that's the... Well, that could be the signal thing we're seeing on like the other side of the hill before. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so nothing much. Okay, so nothing much we can do in Echo, at least not yet. <clears throat> That's fine. What were the other ones? I know there was three. I 
And it, there was a woman who ran away, although her silhouette looked a bit like the woman from the diner, but... Seem to want to imply that. goes down to the basement bit where we had yes chunk huh I can't seem to pick that back up. Oh. Well, this is good. This this is good. Sure, let's let's go to the sewer, shall we? Heart. Yes, that was the name of the town, wasn't it? There's someone here living in the village in the houses. I've seen them peering out from sodden boards, a shadow behind the shears. Nobody believes me. They told me I was delusional. They threatened me, questioned my integrity, my ability to see this through. They see me too. It hurts to move. I think I understand now. This place is just the beginning. Well, that's not that's at all, is it? Ooh. Very classic. I will say these houses do look very British. I did see somebody run off down there, but... Who sneezed? Hello, another one of you. Hi. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that I should be interacting with those. Maybe I'm setting myself up for a bad ending if I do that. I don't know. I hear a beeping sound. Ooh. Cafe. Okay. I'll tell you what, before we go too far down the road one way, let's let's see where that person was running or we'll sort of die between the two sides of the road. Oh. Dead end apparently. Did you fence hop? You fence hopping? I can hear a car alarm further off down the road. Should probably just double check. Because I don't know if this thing will like signal to me that hey, I'm. Oh. Definitely got something. I 
Star. Is that supposed to be like spa? <laughs> uh, I love it when games do that, when they have like legally. Di oh, hang on, I saw something for a split second there where they have like legally distinct titles. Looks like there's something on the other side of the river. Okay. Might be two somethings in point of fact. This is a big town. Like legit, this is this is a big proper town. Wait, 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 hang on, what? No, no, it just looks the same. No, it's, okay. Okay, that completely threw me for a fuck. Hello? Okay. It's got an achievement called Grandma Death. Sorry, the reason why I kind of hesitated and sort of like, what the hell is going on? I think they've just copy pasted the road. <laughs> In terms of, you know, actual design, I meant. Oh, hang on, there's something over here. I don't want to miss this stuff. Could be important. It's probably not. I was likely to quarantine zone until further notice. You speak with broken words. Excuse me, ma'am, I need to return to your home. Words that hold no faith. Let me show you the truth. She's got a knife. Ma'am, step away. Get back. Chris, we've got to go. Wait, who? Who? Where? We don't have time to get in the car. or is it empty? Because simply getting a jerry can is not indicative of it being empty. Full of petrol, fantastic. Well we know where we're going to be using that then. What are these things? Are like signal amplifiers or something? And that's a symbol of the corporation that's running this shit show. So back to the bridge. Yeah, they said the second one was in the pub. Give me the place. 
They said to set it up in one of the front facing rooms, right? Yeah, somewhere with a good view of the view. Oh, it's weird to think that this place used to be busted. Hey, who says it isn't? <laughs> oh, come on. Now you're just trying to freak me out. Hey, you've heard the stories. Hey, a lot of weird shit happens out here. Why do you think the field team is always hiring? Come on, let's just get this done. <laughs> Ladies first. Okay, so we picked that up. Ooh, Bistro! Bobinson's. Lovely names. Quintessentially British. Okay. Let's go in to the inn. Oh, that's... See? Yeah, that's not a good sign now, is it? Alright, something going on over there. Alright, well for now we'll just stick with this, shall we? Oh, that's not a good sign. Registered full of guest signatures and room numbers. Various notes of receipts are pinned to the board. Ooh, bolt cutters. That'll come in handy. Ah, hello. There's no bow. Tits. Seems something's causing the circuit breaker to trip. Ah, I think I know what, too. Someone spilled juice upstairs. No red colored juice. Okay. Can't quite read what that says, it's too blurry. Probably for the best. Yeah, just typical sort of pub restaurant kind of place, probably. Been to many of these in my time. Nothing better than some pub grub. I don't really go into pubs, but pub restaurants, I like the restaurant part. That room's a lot. eventually because first things first we need to turn on the power why are there these green mushrooms everywhere all right this is it yeah i uh just trying to figure out which key they don't have room numbers on them what the keys never do just try them all no, not that one. Or that one. Give to me. So we set up the repeater, make sure the windows are safe, and then lock it in there. Pretty much. We head back to the van, if you're okay, then it's a matter of waiting for the other teams to do their part. Have you seen a big like this before? Only one it was messy, but we got the job done. Oh, that scares the shit out of me. Working in the facility is one thing, but... 
Good. All right, let's do this. You can hold my hand if you want. Also. Alright. Did, did, did I miss the keys? Because all the doors up here are locked. Can I just like take the bulb out? I feel like that would be the best thing to do. Alright, so I need to... Keys, keys, keys. There should be just keys somewhere, shouldn't there? Usually is. Hmm. Nothing much there then. Well, seems something's causing the circuit breaker to trip. Okay, well we got the bolt cutters. That gives us another location to go to, I suppose. I guess we just need to find the Undiscovered key item remains in this area. Really? Let's see. Hmm. All right. Well, let's look for something obvious. What could be... What could be in this area that I missed? signal something from somewhere. Hmm. I don't know. Game's telling me I missed something here, which is quite nice of it, actually. I will say... Oh, hello. One of you guys again. What are you? I don't know if I should let you get that close. Here? Yep. Whatever. Doesn't seem to have any kind of effect. Okay, nothing down there. Was there? Oh! Hi guys! I didn't see you there before. Or him. Yeah, I didn't see any of this. How the fuck did I miss that? I was literally standing right in front of it. Okay, apparently I'm just blind, but then we already knew that, didn't we? Hello, old woman. Oop. Okay, was there anything else over in this place that I missed? Oh. Oh, I already have a full can. Ah, I may end up needing two then, so we might have to come back for that. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I guess it is what it is.
Okay, so... We need the hotel room keys. Which we'll get somewhere. We've got the bolt cutters, which will allow me to get into that big institute place. We've got... Let me think. What else have we got? We've got the battery. And the tape, I'm assuming, for the... Um, uh, diner. And... Yeah. A few other places, probably. Oh, and the jerry can which we can take to the um the area c site c so yeah sites a and c i seem to have a lot of stuff for b not so much yet but i guess we'll see on that which was open but yeah comms is destroyed or blocked looks like it's been intentionally blocked so we can't get the comms that might open up later and this is storage don't need these keys anymore correct Ooh. Yep, that is indeed storage. Is there a thing in mm -hmm. here? Nope, doesn't seem to be. Oops, wrong oh, button. Sorry. Tin food. Med supplies. Bottled water. Oh. Empty. Am I looking for something in particular? Uh, empty. I might be looking for something, I just don't know what yet. Empty. No point carrying more than one of these around with me. Okay. So that could be either A, redundancy, as in I can pick up more than one of these things from various locations. Looks like they've been here a while. Jerry cans. So yeah, it is a case of the game could have redundancy, as in there are multiple places where you can pick up an item. Or I'm going to need all of these. I'm going to have to do a lot of running around. Either is possible. Looks like the other entrance to comms also blocked off. Alright, well, let's use the teleport and go to the diner, because I think I can faff around with that. This is a really cool system, by the way. I like this. It's a bit weird. But it, it does work. Some sort of tape player. What's it doing here? No power. Looks like the battery's depleted. Well, then it's a good job I've got a replacement somewhere in here. Cassette. Oh. Ah, I think they did it. Okay, two more sites to go. The 
Stein is dead. Hmm. Right, then we go back. Chris, you there? Hey, I think I got one of those devices running. You're a natural. Yep, I can see that Site A is back on the grid. How are you holding up? Uh, okay, I guess. Cold. You got this. We'll be out of here in no time. Just two more sites. Right. Hmm. Status contained, established, super strength, moderate. That's good. Echo Garden status unknown. Well, let's go find out. Because I've got the bolt cutters. Bravo. No, not that. Was it? No, it was Echo. It was this way. this place is exactly just sight echo echo oh is it just echo charlie or am i misremembering that right so it looks like ooh, yeah okay yeah, I figured as much. I can't go in here until I've done the other two places. So this will be where I head last. Fair enough. go to yeah we want to go back across the river I'm not sure where the hell I'd find the keys for that place it could be they're just in the town somewhere and I've missed them and I can get them later Use the jerry can with the fuel. To get across here, hopefully at least. The 
discovered key items remain in this area. Oh, hello. Hello, little sheepy. seeing you here before, but okay. Oh, in fact, there's several of them? Why are there several sheep running around? They weren't before. And where are you running to? That would be the question now, wouldn't it? Assuming, of course, you're even running anywhere in particular. Apparently it's into a tree. <laughs> okay, well, we can at least get the generator running. Ah, I still need a tape. Right. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't remember seeing any of that. Empty. <laughs> I was going to say, if there had been a bloody jerry can here the whole time, I'd have been pissed. So there was this note. What was it again? Uh, a stash of tape for Site C and a link just north of the research site. I've dialed in one of the faux emitters to give off a signal in the range of. How do we know which way is north? Maybe I just need to wander until I find it? Because I, I, I don't think I can adjust the frequency that this thing detects. It seems to auto-switch. Hey Isaac, are you out here? Fucking Hey, Isaac! Hey, come back! Where the hell are you going? Right, so to find the tape, I need to work out where the bloody hell he buried the damn thing. Dancing, the light, and the rain, 
Isaac, I think we need to get you back to the facility. Oh, I'm not sick. Look, just come with me and we can get you checked over. You need to learn. More need to learn. Isaac, put it down. Damn it, Isaac, what are you... Please! No! Okay, well, none of this stuff was here before, I'm sure of it. Hey, better claw hammer. That's something. What did I need that for? I, I don't remember. I don't get what that is. Okay, for the record, I am positive none of this stuff was here a moment ago. It's supposed to be like barbed wire or something. No, I think it's a cable, like a power cable. Wait, I hear something. Yeah? Yeah, listen. That's more than so. That's a lot more. You saw how long it took to clear up this one echo. How the hell are we supposed to do a group? I don't know. Nisha's working on something. Some sort of long-range device. A caster that fills these frequencies. You think that'll help? What happened here? It's the lake, isn't it? They found bodies. A lot of bodies. What, like a mass drowning? It's been the same with the other site. The sewers were full of them before we cleared it out. Why drowning, though? There's, there's plenty of other ways to... I don't know, but we've got a bigger problem here. Head back to the orchard. Take one of these. They're both fitted with new cones, which are good for about 10 discharges. What are you doing? I've got to track them. Alone? I'll be fine. Huh. I can't seem to interact with anything. So there's a thing about a mass drowning at the lake. Ah, I'm assuming these are the two bodies here, the two girls, perhaps? Mm, possibly. I don't know, and honest to god, I'm not sure. Not at this point, anyway. Oh, hey, hang on, didn't he... Wasn't there... I'm wondering if it's buried in here, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. I can't seem to do anything about that. Um, okay, tell you what. It is... Uh, five, so we should... Oh, that's where I needed the hammer for. Yes. I knew I needed it for some reason. <laughs> hey! So we'll check out the basement when I get back from the break. The hammer broke in two. Of course it did. Why would it not? Anyway... Um, back in a minute, guys. And we're back. Alright, actually, considering I keep forgetting to do it, let's make a save. <laughs> yeah, should probably do that. Cellar door. Ah. Ooh. Some sort of diagram carved into the wall. Looks like the lake, the thing, so that's the X, huh? Oh, that's that's a problem. 
I don't know if I'm going to need another one, but you never know, right? Oop. Well. Okay. So, alright, near pal? Yeah, yeah, apparently so. So, we know where we're looking now, at least it's over here. I'm guessing. Looked to be there, didn't it? That's where the X was. Sort of here. Hmm. Look to be there. I don't know why I can't do anything about it. You got the lake, you got the hut with the thing around it, and it's just there. Or maybe that's the house. Or maybe maybe that's this house. Okay, now it could be pointing me towards this. Yep. That's where the table bit. The shovel broke. What the heck? Really? Well, that's well timed. Anything new showing up? Oh, don't look like it. Right, so we got the tape. This is going to be number three. Another site contained. Okay, just one more site to go. I still haven't found the uh, like fast travel point in this area yet. Assuming there even is one, there might not be, I guess. But you think there would be? Because <coughs> we know there's one in the hotel. But there wasn't any power to it, which is why I couldn't use it. <coughs> and you'd think there'd be one here of all places, but I couldn't see it if there was. Ah oh, well. <coughs> and I did look. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to swirl the wrong way then. I, I did look, honest. Ugh, charming weather. Typically British. Well, it's Wales. And, like, if you go to Wales, there's about a 90% chance it's going to be raining. It's not raining here today. In fact, today it's foggy. It's really foggy. It's been foggy all day. Proper Silent Hill style. Actually, no, it's not quite that bad. It was that bad last night, but it's backed off a bit because it's daytime. Um, bah, 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 bah. Right, we need to go to the town. It's the only place we got left to go. <coughs> Wonder if you've got anything more to say. Yep. Okay, I got another one of those signal things running. That's great. We're almost done. 
Yep, looks like Charlie and Alpha are both back up. Not lost your nerve yet, then. Honestly, this place scares the shit out of me. Try not to think about it. We're almost out. Just one more sight. One more sight. Sure. You'll be alright. Let me know once it's active. Yes, ma'am. All right, that's two sites done. So I'm wondering if the third site is now on the list or... It's the calm place. Yeah, there. So wait, where is it? Because obviously it'll be near to where I get dropped off. Fine. Fine. Ugh. I genuinely didn't see it. I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention. But we gotta go to site Bravo now. So, Bravo. Which direction was Bravo? That's storage. That's what I thought was down here, dead end? Yeah. Bravo. That's Echo. Bravo, there we go. <clears throat> So, considering the game keeps flagging, hey, there's an item in this area you haven't gotten yet. Um, I'm guessing it's not one of the jerry cans. Those I've already got. Yeah, there's an undiscovered item here. All right, so somewhere, someone has an item, and I gotta work out where and who and all that jazz. Okay. going to be looking for exactly. I will say the popping on the plants can be a little odd because I am just like seeing it in the corner of my eye and I'm like ah stop doing that I notice. Disconcerting. Honestly, that's the only real complaint I've got about this. This game's actually been pretty good fun. Not really scary. Like when that thing showed up, I was like, oh my god, what's that? And then it wouldn't stop following me, and I was like, oh, oh look, there's another one. I get the feeling these are the echoes they're talking about. Which don't seem to bother me at all. So, whatever. I should get some weird whispering in the background. Alright, so I can't see to act, you know, interact with this guy at all. We still got those people over there staring at me, which is bloody weird. Government types or something. Um, we got... What have we got? Can't go in any of the doors. That area seems to be sealed off.
if I can turn the car off. I do wonder if that's there just to like draw your attention towards it. So what have I missed in this area? Because there must be something, right? The game is very specifically saying, hey, you've missed an item in this area, which implies there's a place I haven't explored properly yet. And I'm like, hmm. Ooh. Random dead body. He's blinking like there is something here, but I don't know what or where. Hello again. Let's see, like I. Oh, hang on. What's taking us so long? I don't know. Smoke break. Try the radio again. This is clean up team Bravo. Site C has been contained. Do you copy? Over. <sighs> Nothing. What gives? You really are on edge today, aren't you? No, it's just... Wait. Do you smell that? Hey, don't look at me. No, that petrol. It smells like petrol. Probably just, I don't know, someone used the van to ship some jelly cans or... Hey, someone out there! It won't budge. Oh no. Hey, open the fucking door! Hey! Ah. That was the guy with the skull face, that was, um, <clears throat> what was his name, Isaac? The one who's been running around killing everyone. Well, at least now I know what I was missing. Yep, pretty much that. Hey, hotel keys, that's exactly what I needed. Well, there you go, then. So yeah, Isaac kind of went nuts and kind of killed everyone. Not a good look. So yeah, I must have just missed that. I, I thought I'd been over there with the scanner, but I guess not. My mistake. You were running around all over the place. I will say, each area is generally self-contained. Like, there is a couple of items you can only get in one location, but... Like, for the most part, you can go anywhere once you've got the keys. Okay, so we got the keys. Uh, for the hotel, at least. I'm talking about the other keys. Yeah, that I figured. Got an achievement called Smile and Wave. I don't know why I just got an achievement called Smile and Wave. Don't even know what the hell that means. Ugh. That's very green.
That's no good. The key doesn't work. Really? Bit random, but okay. Oh. Well, that explains that. Oh, hello. Rats. Hit the cassette tape, fantastic. I guess now we just gotta get the power onto the place, huh? Some sort of tape player. Yes, well done. It's plugged into the mains, but there's no power. Right, okay. Boom. Ah, I'm assuming Isaac... Oh, is that Isaac? for the tape here. Nope, wrong run. Drop down the duvet. Uh, that should do it. You hope? Uh, Stanley, negotiation with the team here in Hearth have been somewhat difficult, although I do feel I'm making progress. As expected, they have reservations about a third party being involved, however the financial incentive still proves to be our strongest bargaining chip. Facilities here are in dire need of a cast injection and terribly understaffed. Naturally, this is an opportunity we cannot afford to miss. I suggest that moving forward we adopt a more aggressive approach to our negotiations. I trust that money is no obstacle. I wait your approval. You can move forward. Thomas. Are those names I've heard before? Because I don't remember them. Okay, so that should have the or be able to have the power up and running again. Looks like that did the trick. Ooh, fantastic. Showing error messages, because of course it is. Hello. Here goes number three. Okay, that should be the last one. Time to get to the facility. Site contained. Alright, so we can use the fast travel system down here now. I'm surprised the game has a fast travel system, but I'm not necessarily complaining about it. <laughs> Chris, are you there? Yes, I am. Hey, I think that's all the devices up and running. We can get out of here now, right? Oh, you did it, Chris. The signal arrays back online. There's some stuff I need to do on my end, but we're almost done. Make your way to the Echo Garden. It's big concrete building that was visible. Hey, you're breaking up. Hello? Are you still there? Ah, oh, that can't be good. Oh dear. Just in case. Alright, everything's all turned off. I gotta remember... Storage. Pre 
pretty sure it's this way. The little shuffling noise in my head has been getting louder and louder every time I've turned one of those on. I feel it's like my connection to reality is slowly being shattered. Because, you know, if, if I'm dead, if I'm a ghost, then I get the feeling that this is all, like, part of fixing whatever went wrong with it, and I'm going to get fixed right along with it. I would guess. Today, March 16th, is the day that we go down in history. Our biggest breakthrough yet, we have now established contact with the other side. The years of prolonged study and relentless analysis, our work has finally paid off. What was but a fleeting moment now stands as a shining beacon of our efforts, a reminder of why we're here, fruit born from our collective sacrifice. To communicate, even for a matter of seconds, with one of those who have passed proves to be the single greatest moment of my life. I am one step closer to finding her, to be able to speak with her once again, to hear her tender words, there is nothing I want more. With our theory confirmed, we are now prepared to move to the third stage. Prolonged exposure to the artifact. I believe with the right precautions and our newfound knowledge, we can overcome these pitfalls that have previously proven detrimental to our goal. Anira, my love, we will be together again. It's only a matter of time. Was that the name of the woman at the start of the game? Oh god, I'm actually struggling to think of electrical panel. Ooh. Uh oh. Ah! Okay, so we did have to do that. Uh, June 10th, we have found success with another host, a young male born following the initial events at GZ. The child has exceeded our expectations in control sessions here in the lab and has proven far more resilient to the side effects holding back off other uh, participants. Through this host, we've been able to make contact with several separate occasions with clear results far exceeding our sample data. Since the acquisition, we have now doubled our staff, bringing in fresh minds with unique perspectives, has vastly improved our productivity and estimated milestones. Work has started on the off-site facility, and I've been informed this should be operational by the winter. Preparations are beginning to take place for the transfer of viable hosts. I'm incredibly proud of the work we have achieved here at Echo Garden Institute. I look forward to our future endeavors. No power. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Right. Some sort of pressurized machine. <coughs> Looks like it's been through hell and back. God, that noise is really getting on my ears. <laughs> I don't know if that's deliberate or not, or what. It's like static. It's 
what it is, but it's like really annoying. I hope you can hear it too, otherwise I'm going nuts. Um, either that or my earphones are breaking, which is entirely possible, technically speaking. Doesn't work. Okay. I still need an access card. Covered body, the smell is unbearable. Well, I think I just clocked the access card. What's this? Yep. Staff. Level 4 staff. Ooh. Staring to display makes me feel weak. Yeah, it's like three points. We saw the same three points on those like ghost figures wandering around that seemed to react weirdly when I got close to them. I'm pretty sure the twist is going to be that I've been dead the whole time. Like, I'm pretty sure I called that right from the off. I mean, I could be wrong. It could be something else. But I don't think it is. I'm glad he knows where we're going. Oh dear. Were they using children in their experiments? I bet they were. That makes way too much sense. I need to show you something. Take a seat. Uh, you want me to sit in that thing? Just get in the chair, Chris. This is the part where you show me I'm dead? Uh, this really doesn't look safe. Fuck, what am I doing here? Chris, you've come too far to give up now. Trust me. After this, we can finally leave this place. Okay, that thing does not look safe. Like, at all. It's fine, just take a seat. Let me guess. I'm just supposed to trust you. I've got you this far, haven't I? Don't let fear overcome you now. Oh, this is crazy. I wonder if I actually have a choice. Eh, let's do it. Okay, screw it. Let's do this. Oh dear. Oh, are we in uh I want to see mom? Very important, Chris. Do you understand? Couldn't do without your help. You're special to us.
go home. Doctor, he's conscious. Establish a GPS. Do we have motor functions? Sympathetic pathway showing response. Pupils dilating. Uh... Chris, can you hear me? No verbal response. Dr. Selwyn, the patient is stable for now. Progress has been slow today. Might I suggest a brief recuperation period? Mm. Disappointing. Run it again. I woke to a deadly silence. tired, fumbling over each step like I'd been asleep for a lifetime. Something was different now, a stillness to the air. As I felt the blood slowly return to my fingers, so did a flood of memories. Those years spent alone with my father. For years, my mind had locked away in the darkest corner of my subconscious. I had lived this horror before. Time and time again. Like some kind of fever dream. My father was an honest man. A loyalist. Dedicated to his craft. To science. To the pursuit of knowledge. But a compassionate man, he was not. Everything changed the day my mother passed. His... better half. He became obsessed with that village, with Hearth, and his st stupid rock that fell from the stars. For years I thought I'd see her again, that she'd just come back, arms open like she never left. Maybe we were both deluded. My father convinced me I was sick. Maybe I was. I could see things other people couldn't. Things no 12 year old should ever see. Day after day, I wished I hadn't told him. I wished things could go back to the way they were. Visits turned into appointments. Appointments into sleepovers. It wasn't long before we stopped going back home. This is your home now. Then I met Helen. 
I never knew her last name. The only researcher in that damned place with a conscience. If it wasn't for her, I'd be rotting there like the rest of them. She helped me get out. To get away. To a foster family in the southwest. A new life far from here. My rock. For years I dreamt about it. About that place and what it would be like to go back. Like something was calling me. That feeling. It's gone now. Whatever business my father started here, it ended when I severed that link. I guess now I can finally leave. We all can. Okay, I'm, I'm a little confused, just, just a gnats, that was one hell of an exposition dump at the end there, um, okay, right, so, I think, basic idea for the story at the end of that, was everything that was going on had sort of, Oh, see, this is what I don't understand. Like, how did we go from stopping off at a diner with a woman and then, like, something happened? There was, like, a ghost attacked her and then suddenly we sort of shifted time, it seemed like, or everything became really decrepit. Like, okay, I get the whole thing, like, his father was, like, this jackass scientist who started using him in... Uh... Like experiments, like that, that that whole bit kind of really reminded me of uh, Stranger Things, you know, like just going into the world where there's like water on the floor and moving around and seeing random stuff. That was very Stranger Things, and like, you know, kids being used in the experiment, also very Stranger Things. Like that, I get. I and then like coming back to deal with the father, the father's death. I guess like, led to... Oh, okay. Yeah, then, like, you know, coming back, having to deal with the father's death. Maybe there was supposed to be, like, repressed memories? Notes found, echoes found. Oh, wow, I missed bits. <laughs> so that's ending salvation, then, huh? Interesting, interesting. I wonder how many endings there actually are. <laughs> well, there you have it then. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're back to the title screen. Um, yeah, like, okay. Um, in terms of the basic game, I liked it. Like, I, I think maybe there could have been more of a threat, but I get the game feeling the game, they didn't want there to be a threat. New game, Restless Dreams? What's Restless Dreams? Is that like DLC or something? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe I'll I'll look into it. Maybe it'll be something worth playing. Maybe it won't be. Wow. So it literally only saves you. Oh no, there are auto saves. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, it does auto save. I mean, I guess we could look in if I like reject it, but I don't know. I think I'm I'm okay just showing the one ending. I can get the rest of the endings in my own time. So yeah, that was chasing static. Like it's a decent little game. Like it's not. 
it's not bad. Like, I like the level design was really good. I like the open-ended nature of it. I like solving the puzzles. They were really good fun. Um, the story wasn't told that well. Like, you know, like, as I say, it, it was really confusing because it's like everything's normal. And then suddenly you wake up and the place is all decrepit. And I honestly thought it's like, oh, I'm dead. I'm a ghost. And it's like, like time has passed. But like, it's... It's not that, like something else has happened. Maybe it was... See, because he goes to the diner and one of the ghost being things attacks the woman. Fine. And then is it is it that that triggers a repressed memory? Like, how does he go from being there when the woman attacked to suddenly being in the same location but everything's all like decrepit like it's been abandoned for years I, it, I, it, it, I don't get it i don't understand how we make that leap from a to b there everything else i can kind of parse together it's just that leap doesn't make any sense which is why i thought oh i'm dead or oh i'm been transported into another reality or something like that because otherwise it doesn't make any sense like if i'd have woken up somewhere else and been able to go back to the diner to see it all decrepit like you know some time had passed or something like that i could see that like i could understand that being a thing but i don't know i don't know i i feel like that's the bits that's really throwing me like the rest i understand like you know him dealing with his childhood trauma and all that stuff like that's fine that i understand although it's like did did all that stuff about setting up the signals was that something that happened very recently was that something that happened before what's the deal with the experiments and the space rock like how do all these pieces connect because they feel really disparate and separate and that's why i say like gameplay i liked the story just I felt like the story wasn't being explained very well. I'm sure there are plenty of connections. I'm sure it's there if you understand it. I feel like it wasn't explained to me very well. Now, it did say I missed a couple of notes and missed a couple of uh, echo bits. I don't think I used the echo locator in those last couple of areas, so maybe that's where I missed it. Maybe that held a bit more information. I'm not sure. Um... I guess we'll see, but uh, I will leave it there for now. If there is any extra content, that's fine. You're more than welcome to purchase this game for yourself and have a look. But uh, as I said, not bad. Like, I actually kind of enjoyed this. It was a nice little thing. Thank you all for watching, everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed this. And I will see you all whenever I next see you. Take care out there, everybody. Bye-bye.